Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to install this throttle lock. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's a little cold in here so we've got the Black & Decker heat gun in the background warming us up in the garage and today we're going to install this throttle lock on my Kawasaki ZX-10. So it figures the uh, one time I would try an RTFM out of the gate, um, things didn't quite work out so I got to step two. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. The reality is this is a small kit. There's not a lot of parts to it. It's pretty simple and you, you just you don't need to RTFM, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. So you're probably wondering what was step two. So step two is to install the thrust washer and you've got three of these guys in different thicknesses but you're supposed to install it on the bar end and uh, so the problem with that is the throttle tube, at least on this bike, comes all the way out flush to the end of the bar and this is supposed to fit over the handlebar and mash up against the throttle tube. So it, it, you can't really do that, it doesn't work. Okay, so no worries. So just put the thrust washer on the end of the throttle lock and just install the throttle lock. Um, now here's the key, you've got three different thicknesses, okay? This is the thickest one. I went ahead and started out with the thickest one. I installed the bar end into, I'm sorry, I installed the throttle lock into the bar end. And what I found was before I could bottom out the throttle lock and torque it down, it was already rubbing against the throttle and the throttle was, was essentially locked in position and you couldn't really turn it. So um, the thickest one, at least for the 2015 ZX-10R, is too thick. So I tried uh, the medium size and the thinnest one of the bunch. And the medium size seems to work the best. It gives you enough of adjustment room so that once you've got this guy installed and he's torqued down into the bar end, you can play with this adjuster here and get it set into position and then you can tighten the grub screw right here to adjust the, the, um, the amount of resistance when you turn the lock nut right here. So this is the piece that actually turns and presses the thrust washer against your grip and keeps it in position. And this is pretty neat. This has got a reverse thread. So um, instead of clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to untighten or take it off, it's the opposite, which works out because you need to turn it this way to rub against the, and yeah, um, I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's a reverse thread. Oh, I've got the medium sized thrust washer and we're putting that on the throttle lock and that little blue dot there is a little bit of grease. We're gonna go ahead and grease up the threads and then we're going to install the throttle lock, torque it down, and then we'll adjust the, um, I don't know what you call this thing, but this thing right here with the letters on it. Okay. Now, the throttle lock's installed. It's torqued down, it's bottomed out inside the bar end and my throttle grip is still turning nice and free. This is a good sign. All right, last step is to adjust the actual locking mechanism and the grub screw that give us the right resistance when we turn the locking mechanism. So basically what I'm doing here is adjusting the locking mechanism so that it's close um, and maybe even touching the throttle grip, but the throttle grip still turns nice and free. Once I find that position, then I'll tighten down the grub screw and we'll give it a test. All right, I've got everything installed, adjusted, and I'm ready to test it just sitting here in the garage with the engine off. And first test is to make sure that the throttle's nice and free until I decide to engage the locking mechanism itself. So right now I can give it gas, I can let go, and the throttle returns back to stop position all by itself, which is what you want, that's a good thing. Now I can um, engage this in two different ways. I can just manually turn this dial to where I know it's gonna be tight and lock the throttle, and then I can give it gas and let go, and the throttle is locked into position. It's not so tight that I can't turn the throttle off manually by just rolling it back to the stop position. Um, 
Another way, and I can roll the adjuster back to the letter O, that's kind of nice. I wish they would actually highlight these letters a little bit more so you can see them easier. And the second way you can engage is by sliding your hand to the right and using your pinky finger and the palm of your hand. As you give it gas, grab the throttle lock and voila, the throttle is locked into position. The garage test was successful. Um, I'm kind of anxious to get out on the road and give this a try. Unfortunately, it's way too cold outside. Still patches of ice on the road here and there. So I'm gonna have to wait until some warmer weather comes, which uh, I believe in the next couple of days we're gonna get into the 50s with lots of sunshine. So should have an opportunity to get a test ride in. And uh, that'll be kind of a part two video that'll come out later this week, uh, targeting Thursday as usual. And in that video, once I've had a chance to test it, I'll give you my full opinion from packaging, installation, to how it actually performs out on the road. And uh, so be on the lookout for that. So guys, keep the rubber side down. Um, subscribe, like, share, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.